And today we're gonna do something, well, topic video, okay? So before we get started, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe to your girl's channel, as well as subscribe to it. And as well, well, I think I said, well, I think I said subscribe. So go ahead and subscribe, because I'm emphasis on subscribe, emphasis on like, and emphasis on share this video. Um, share it to your group chats, whatever, get other people's thoughts and opinions on this topic. So yeah, especially my trans girls, because of course it's a video towards you, because it's my lived experience as a trans woman. Um, also, to make sure y'all follow me on, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, everything if you if you would like one if you must. Thank you so much, and let's get into this video. So today we're gonna talk about being his first. Okay, let's talk about being his first. Okay. So when I say that, so if you are a trans woman, the nuance in transness is the fact. Um, what's the nuance in, in always being his first, cis or trans? But of course, I'm talking, talking through the lens of a trans woman. Um, let's talk about, like I said, being his first. So the nuance to being his first as a trans woman is you be his first trans girl. And, or when you're not his first trans girl, right? Um, so there is, I feel like not as a um, complex thinking of this subject, but it is a thought, and I just want to share out my thoughts with y'all. If y'all argue, I mean, if y'all want to argue, I'm sorry, ain't no arguing. If y'all disagree or have certain points, please leave them down below, stuff like that. Um, I'll make sure to read them, respond to them, girls. Like I said, I'm a bad girl, so yeah, y'all be seeing me again this week, so boom. Um, but let's, yeah, let's go ahead and get into my opinion. Um, so I'm gonna give y'all a little story time, of course, and then I'm gonna give y'all a background story, you know, whatever like that. So I, rec I recently went on a little, date with somebody right and um we were talking and you know there was this thing where i felt like oh my goodness like i don't think i told him i'm trans and which is scary and that's a whole other thing when it comes to transness but we're not getting sad today but we're talking about business first and the thoughts that usually go through a lot of girls head or at least through my head goes i feel like a lot of girls can relate um <clears throat> so i was, we was having a conversation and you know we got a little frisky and I told him I was trans before, but I forgot because I just, girl, listen, I just, I just, I just forgot. And I said, I'm not here to like trying to stunt, cunt, I mean, pull cunt stunts, but I'm just saying, like, I, I, I just honestly forgot. But he, he reassured me, he's like, no, you told me like that. I was like, okay, cool. And then I asked him, I said, well, another question then. He was like, okay, Yulia, what's up? I said, am I your first? And he proceeded to say, well, no. And that sparked a thought in my head. So at this point, I'm asking him, well, am I the first, second, third? You know what I'm saying? I'm asking him all these questions, even though his past is not compare or even, you know, it really doesn't rely because it's just me and him right now. But in the back of my head, like as women to transport this woman, we always think about his past with the girls that he's had, you know, his type and stuff like that. Because you want to make sure, like, you want to make sure you his type in a way. But um i asked him that and like so like he told me that answer and i got a little like you know i got i wouldn't even say jealous or envy i would say jealous or envy because the feeling i felt was jealousy in a way because i was like well i'm supposed to be your first you know you're supposed to love me da, da, da. even though i feel like that is very selfish and very stupid of me but that was a thought i had i'm human and whatever like that so when he said that i just i was like mm. but that would spark this thought with you guys we're, we're bringing this to youtube um, it was the fact that as trans women, do we really care for their first or do we not as a collective? Like, do we really care? Like if we're like his first girl or do we care like that we're not his first girl? Cause part of me is like, I want him to be experienced with transness, especially pre-op girls, because on a certain extent, it's like, okay, he knows he's doing. I don't have to have that whole conversation with him about, oh, well, this here and this there. Even though we accept to have the conversation because everybody, everybody's body is different. But in general, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, certain things get certain people off, right? Like, with dudes, right? You know for a fact if you suck his 
Peter Walker, he gonna come. You know what I'm saying? It might not be the best thing for him, but you know for a fact, if you do it for so long, a reaction's going to happen. Same thing with girls. If you finger a girl, if you have a, you know, if you have a poom poom, or if you're, if you're a lady with an extra piece, like it's just certain movements and certain things that you do to make people get to that top of the mountain. But of course, everybody has different kinks and stuff like that. So you know what I'm saying? One girl might like her, her, her nipple lick, the other girl might hate it. You know what I'm saying? Same thing like with trans, like some girls, if they still have that piece, if they're pre-op, no, sorry. No, yeah, pre out. If they're pre out, then some girls like it tickled, some girls don't. You know what I'm saying? So that's a whole little thing with that. But it was just like, the thought of my head was like, yo, like, I really am. Like, I'm happy to a certain effect of I don't have to tell him. I'm not the one saying he knows about it. He's not afraid of my body. But at the same time, it's like, but I kind of want to be your first because something special in that. Because you never forget your first, you know, whatever experience. Like, I would never forget my first boy experience. I would never forget. Um, if I ever kiss a girl, I never forget. You know, the first girl I kiss, like it's just certain experiences you would never forget when people are first. So it's just like, but I know he's not gonna forget me, girl, because I'm just unforgettable. Bitch, you see this face? I'm unforgettable. But it's just like, you know, it, it was just, it was, just, it was just, it was just a thought. And um, yeah, that that was just my thought about that. And I was just like, so uh, okay, I bring it to, I say all that to say this, because I'm really getting outside track. But y'all know these videos, girl, that's why y'all live with me, girl. I ain't the typical this, this, that, or that. It's really a thought process. I'm gonna see what I'm on FaceTime with y'all, so, you know. Oh, this is real, this is in time, this is me, right? Okay, boom. So it was just like, so like I said, on one end, I'm like, okay, I'm glad he knows me and, and knows my situation and knows my tea and I gotta do shit. On the other hand, it's like, but damn, I want to be your first. I want to be your first because I wanted you to forever have a, uh, have a, certain connection to me especially when you like the guy like i wanted you to be i wanted to be your first i wanted you to always remember me for being your first girl every other girl before me and after me well every girl before me and every girl you thought about sleeping with but i was your first girl you slept with you know what i'm saying and it's just like i want like i said i want that special connection with that and even though it may may become up my boyfriend may not become a boyfriend one like that and that's what like and that's just not with him but like with past men with, like i always have I always ask that question with boys or with trey or whatever like am i your first girl majority of the time either yes majority of the time, well i'm gonna say eight out of ten i mean not one um nine times i no sorry one well from one to ten times i'm usually like it's like eight like i'm usually like not eight eight out of ten times i'm usually first um what about oh sorry Ooh, girl whatever like that right and you know to a certain extent i guess it's an ego boost like yeah i got a trade to flip for me and it's like the same time you're not hooping for you if you're a woman bitch you know what i'm saying like he's not hooping for you if you are a woman you identify as a woman so it's just like are you really benefiting your own self and ego when you're putting yourself in a category of oh i turned him out because turning him out means he was into something at first but then you came along and he and you just turned his whole life around and the thing about this, I usually like the date, the man I date or a cis had straight man, right? Like majority of the time, I never had a bush queen yet, girl. If you know what a bush queen is, a gay man. I never really dated a gay man before, but majority of guys I attract are straight men, straight black men at that. So, um, someone like that, right? So when you get that, it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna grow extra peas and he like extra peas one and that. Half of the time, girl, they already fetishizing you in the, in the first place if we want to talk about it because half the guys either have explored. Um, transness. It's not like two or no, actually five guys. I feel like I've, I met that haven't explored transness before. No, that's a lot. That's a lot. I'm sorry, y'all, but like more, I'm telling you, like almost say like seven out of ten times, the guys have never really explored outside of me. Well, like, that means including XX videos, including other girls, including looking at you know they know what it is, but they don't haven't like sexually explored it, right? And I've been a girl sometimes for them to you know be the the the, the girl they explored, which sounds so bad, but I guess I'm a new experience for them. Um, but in the same time, like I said too, at the same time, it's degrading and, and they fetishize you and you're over-sexualized. But at the same time, again, it's an ego boost. And sometimes the ego boost will always trump anything else. And that's the sad part, cause on one end to affect, again, I don't want to be fetishized. I don't want to be sexualized. I want you to see me for my, emo like I want you to, well, I want you to see, I want, I want to be emotionally attracted to you just like I'm physically attracted to you. And to a certain extent, and and that's why I get so um, so cautious when it comes to dating sometimes. Because a, listen, I've gotten to a point in my life. I don't know if if everybody I know I'm gonna say so. I'm trying to enjoy the moment, but I am a big girl. I am a Taurus. 
Virgo and a Cancer mix girl. Like I am, like I don't care what they're saying. Time is I care. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like my emotions sometimes can like overwhelm me, and sometimes I want like I want that connection. And I said in 2022, like I really want a boyfriend. I'm gonna stay on my business and get a boyfriend. Um, and I'm saying like what about that? But when I said that, like I'm actively dating to get a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I want somebody I can date. I want somebody that's gonna text me in the morning, good night. Like I want all that and then some, right? And I'm trying to actively date for a boyfriend, not for the sneaky link, not for the friends of benefits. If you might come to me like that, I have to delete them immediately. Hey, I'm trying to break it off with some boys myself, but I feel like you're not bringing it to the table. Like I need you to bring it to the table. I'm done with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I want somebody that I can connect with and grow with. Um, not saying like my boy, my boy's boyfriend be my husband, child, but the way it's going to grow, I'm about to be 22 this year, honey. And I, like I said, I have a special annou announcement in March. I'm definitely cutting off everybody. If you do not, you know, do what, what I need you to do before beforehand okay so and you should know what the, the announcement is or the, the, you can see the countdown you can kind of get a glimpse of what, I, what i'm getting in march if you want my instagram story time i mean instagram i'm um, stories so like i said if i follow me on social media um come on shameless plug <laughs> but yeah like i just i just i was just thinking about that like why don't have other girls have this feeling like i want to be his first but at the same time i don't want to be his first like i want to be his first experience i want to be first when he fall in love i want to be first this this that that but at the same time I don't want to be his first because that means you have to emotionally unpack him and reassure him and, and, and his attraction towards you sometimes, sometimes, majority of the time. Sometimes you get those boys like, I like you and you ain't out, know, that's it. Um, but yeah, I, if you have any thoughts, girls, and down below, I don't want to like make this a long, 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 long video. Um, of course, I want to expand on it too. Um, follow me on TikTok, I think I'm bringing it to TikTok. The reading this to TikTok, I'm kind of more active on TikTok right now, either way. So, if you want to, you know, stay tuned because I'm bring, like, so I'm bringing this topic to TikTok and see how the girls think. Um, but yeah, honey, like, I was just thinking about that, and you know, that's really my thoughts around it. If you have any thoughts, please put them down below, as well as comment, like, whatever, like, you know, you know, you know what to do at this point. <laughs> so, I would talk to so you on the next one. I will talk to you later on this week, actually. Um, I think like this week's gonna be a story time. So yeah, either story time or heavy video, we're gonna see. Um, but yes, honey. Oh, let's get into this to this right now, by the way. Y'all see what lace. What lace, even though I got these loud waves, but what lace, what lace. And look at my skin, like I feel so pretty today. I feel like so pretty. Anyway, long story short, I probably watch this back and think, oh my god, girl, I'm so ugly. Y'all have self doubts. <laughs> I'm gonna make another video. Girl, dysphoria and self doubts, bitch. Cause I just be looking at myself sometimes. Like, sometimes I think I'm so pretty. Sometimes I'm like, eh. I feel like every girl goes through that though. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I always talk to you in the next one. I love you guys. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe to your girl's channel, as well as follow me on social media below. Like I said, I would talk to y'all in the what? The next one.